The wildfires are prompting a health alert tonight, and while we know the smoke can harm our bodies, little is known about the effects on our mental health. Yes, so joining us now is Dr. Shannon Bennett. She is the site clinical director at the Center for Youth Mental Health at New York Presbyterian. Dr. Bennett, thanks for joining us here this evening. We appreciate your time. You know, yesterday we were talking about people being masked outdoors, being advised to stay indoors, it really could bring you back to the early days of the pandemic. And we were curious if that could be triggering for some. Of course, I'm hearing this from a lot of people that I work with, masking, being required to stay indoors or asked, advised to stay indoors is triggering. It reminds us of the pandemic. Some folks are saying it's reminding them of days following 9-11 and bringing back a lot of anxiety. Dr. Bennett, I'm wondering about claustrophobia. I watched the sky seemingly close in on us yesterday. Everybody saw the same thing. Um, what do you do with that feeling? How do you handle that? I mean, it's anxiety producing, it's real. It is, absolutely. When we experience thoughts or physical sensations of claustrophobia or other types of anxiety, it's important that we take care of ourselves, we calm our bodies down, slow breathing, reminding ourselves we're safe right now in this moment, trying to stay in touch with reality. And it's important to remind ourselves we're not back in 9-11. This is not COVID. There's certainly things that we need to pay attention to with respect to climate change and take action where we can, but reminding ourselves that we're safe and doing, doing what we can to take care of ourselves in this moment, knowing that it will pass. I was out earlier this morning and I actually overheard a mother talking to someone else and she was mentioning yesterday and all of the changing colors of the sky and it actually worried her young daughter. Her daughter actually got a bit scared. What advice do you have for parents about talking to their kids about what's going on? Of course, there's a lot of questions that kids have. Why are our activities canceled? Why can't we go outside? Depending on the age and developmental stage of your child, using appropriate language to give them the facts, to tell them what we know about what's going on. This is related to fires that are far away from where we are, but that the weather, the wind is bringing smoke into our environment and that we believe it will pass just like a thunderstorm. Other types of weather will also pass. A slow mover. Uh, another day or so of this, Dr. Bennett. Thanks so yes. much for the insight. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right.